Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome to Flat Tutorials and this video is not quite a tutorial but it is related to something what we do here. This is a new product that I have uh, up on the asset store right now and you can go ahead and try it but let me show you what it does and how it can be beneficial for your project uh, well, depending on the situation okay so uh, first you uh, when you get this package uh, which is linked in the description um, you get this folder in your project this is an empty uh, this was a empty scene empty project and I just imported the um, uh, the asset okay package um, so basically it comes with a couple of scenes uh, and first scene is basically uh, a complete scene that you just uh, it, that you just saw in the um, intro of this video is that if you play it it's just gonna start the cycle uh, that is basically cycle and seasons which is um, effects like uh, raining effect lightning effect and uh, other simple effects like when the sun goes down the cricket starts chirping and the one sun goes um, when it's when it's morning uh, the birds starts to chirp and whenever it, when it's sun rising and sun setting you get the point what I'm saying here okay so uh, this system uh, is very easy to set up it is just a simple prefab that you drag and drop in to your project and you are ready to go a uh, couple of things uh, that you have to work or play with in order to get the perfect timing is with this um, uh, uh, with these components right here so this is just a prefab uh, that I drag from here to over here or basically it comes in the scene so uh, if you look at over here a day night cycle controls the time so basically it controls the whole cycle of rotation of Sun and moon and uh, it basically controls that uh, uh, in a value of 0 to 1 so 0 being uh, the let's just say uh, the night um, uh, night of a day like it's 12 a.m. 0 is 12 a.m. So when it completes the full round when it reaches to the 1 is basically 12 a.m. Again, so it's basically 0 to 1 is 24 hours. So start time 0.25 it goes according to that um, So uh, moon pivot basically is moon pivot. I'm not gonna go ahead in, in, in each one of these variables But you get the point what they mean uh, by just looking at them So time speed is basically how fast the time is going day color is basically the background color You can change it to any, anything you want like you want to have a space field You want to have a nebula in the back that you want uh, it to glow in the night or day depending on the situation you can change the color over here transition speed is how fast the transition goes of scattering effect which is basically this red effect when the sun goes down or or it comes up how fast the transition is going to be is controlled by this variable uh, in the rain controller here this is um, the script that basically controls uh, the rain uh, the thunderstorm basically rain with lightning effect and uh, the normal uh, burst chirping and uh, crickets uh, toggle uh, in the day and the night okay so let's look at over here so basically these are placeholder reference to things that I um, that I'm toggling uh, in this script so it doesn't really matter over here you can change all these like this rain effect you can have like a snow effect and all that uh, eventually I will have uh, more effects and more themes to this but this is what we get now uh, you might be watching in a later time than this uh, when this video was uploaded and it might have some new things so go ahead and check it out um, it's all good um, uh, rain and uh, now this variable rain season delay so 0 0.5 means after uh, like a quarter of the day a half of the day uh, you're going to go ahead and uh, basically it's going to calculate like 0 0.5 is me it means that uh, after 12 hours and after this many hours so basically this should be somewhere higher so if I said it is 0.75 it says after uh, in between half of the day and third fourth of the day you are going to start raining so it's going to choose in between that rain duration maximum how long the rain is going to be this is quite a big number so i'm just going to go ahead and set it to 0 0.25 uh, rain duration maximum um i want it to be 0 0.45 um, next storm in uh next storm in is basically after how many rains you want there to be a rain with lightning effects and clouds and have all those stormy effects so after one rain or in between uh, from one to two rains we're gonna have a storm and uh, that is going to be like each uh, like it's gonna be keep on repeating the cycle um, lightning delay max uh, 
is how much time there is going to be in between uh, the uh, lightning strikes. Um, this is calculated by these two variables. Lightning response is the position where the lightning is going to be spawned. Uh, so I'm not going to go into this, but you get the idea. These are the simple variables that you need to play around with to get the desire, desired effect that you want. Um, another cool thing that I want to show you is if you go into the this one right here, uh, you can go ahead and ch uh, check the control board over here. So this is a integrated control board that I designed so that you can go ahead and check out how I am toggling everything in the scene in real time. So basically if I play this, I can toggle, um, hold up, I'm gonna mute this. Uh, I can toggle pause and uh, pa I can pause the cycle and then pause the cycle. I can make it keep on raining and it's gonna keep on raining. I can make it keep on storming, it's gonna keep on storming. Um, I can set it to uh, uh, auto mode and it's gonna basically use its own brain to get the rainy season, thunder season and all that working. Set time, I can set it to any time I want. It works phenomenally well and uh, I'm going to hide this, okay. So this is uh, a very simple day night cycle that consists of very small, very easy to set up things like this is just a image that is a tiled on a quad and I, I have a tool created let me show you um, that is designed for this purpose only uh, for this specific purpose is that you can have uh, like these are quads not sprites so basically they are very hard to assign a sorting order to so I have created this tool which helps you assign a sorting order uh, in the inspector and I'm going to have this as a separate asset on the asset store as well. I'm gonna try to get it up there, but um, you know how asset store is. So, uh, so this is how it's done. You can have very uh, easily available images that can, uh, that can be, uh, it's easily designed, not available. You shouldn't steal stuff, but um, you can have them in tile in tile positions and they, you, they can have a scrolling effect. Um, what if you, your object is moving and you want to have parallaxing effect, right? What do you do then? What you do, what do you do, what do you do? Hold on. Okay, what you do is, this is a very ghetto as way to do this, okay? So I'm not doing it because uh, Unity is a, a mess when it comes to exporting layers. So I, uh, I'm gonna find a way to assign layers uh, when people import uh, the projects, it, it is having a lot of issues. If you don't understand what I mean, you will get it in a minute. So basically, this is um, the day night cycle style of the camera, and camera is moving in the word space, right? See, now these are not just the scrolling, these are reacting to where the position of the camera is. So if you go into, um, into let's just say mountain, okay, mountain. And you can see the scroll speed uh, on the parallax Texas scroller. This is a Texas scroller that is enabled in this prefab only. This is to uh, have parallaxing effect as well. So there we go, there we go. You can have this camera assigned or if, you, if you're not using uh, the cam, if, you're not, if this camera is not assigned, it will gonna assign uh, the main camera that is in the scene, okay. So this is how the system works. Uh, the documentation is also provided. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it. Where are Firefox, let's see. Okay. All right, Firefox. Okay. So this is the documentation that has uh, ways you can assign how to set it up and how, what, these, what each script does, what each variable does. These also have these important trigger functions that you can use to just call these functions and things will happen. So if you call this function, it's gonna keep on raining. If it's called this, call this function, it's gonna keep on storming, reset to auto mode. Basically, these are the functions that are called by the um, board, the control board that I've designed. Also, you can go ahead and try the uh, Android demo that is available on Google Play. Go ahead and check that out. Um, it, this is very highly compatible with the mobile devices, so you can go ahead and check that out as well uh, if you like it. Um, if you like this video, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave it in the comments down below. I'll reply to them as quick as possible. Uh, and uh, go ahead and try my stuff. It will help me, enable me to build more things and put out more stuff out there. And that is essentially what I want to do. That's it, guys. That's it from my side. I'll see you on the next one. Keep the peace alive. Goodbye.